can we who are working in dawa organizations contact the other gender by email or phone if necessary to delegate tasks yeah contacting the uh, another person from the other gender yeah whether by email or by phone or by text message or by even direct speech if it is limited using an official language yeah then it is of course allowed no one says that it is not allowed the only problem with this which is a big problem from my own experience what i have seen in the west yeah is that many brothers and sisters they start to have a casual you know casual casual discussion and i have so many stories of married people they fell in haram they committed haram yeah with some sisters or some sisters married sisters they fen fell in haram with some da'is or some people work in da'wa through communication i have many stories i'm not talking about non-practicing people i'm talking about practicing people who are doing da'wa i have I had one case of a person who gives lectures, yeah, who gives lectures. Maybe he's not that famous person, but who gives lectures. He committed zina with, and he was married, by the way, he was married. He committed zina with a sister, yeah how all started by uh, communicating through emails then after emails they started using the messenger then they started uh, using text messages over mobile phones then slowly slowly they agreed to get married yeah he was married but she accepted to be a second wife for him Look at the shaitan, yeah, brothers. How does the shaitan do things? He lives in another city. So they agreed to get married. So she spoke to her family and the, her family said, no, he's from a different caste, we will not accept. Then she said, uh, I will invite him once so he can meet you. The, the family they were thinking about it so he said to her this is one of the recent cases otherwise we have hundreds of stories he said to her look listen let me come yeah let me come and i will go to your family and she said all of a sudden he came to our city then uh, where are you where are you i am here i am here okay take me to your family she said, well, it's not possible now to take you to my family. Okay? Because they are not ready to listen to you. Look at the shaitan, how the shaitan leads people. So, he said, okay, now um, I cannot go back to my city. Yeah, I need to stay somewhere. Okay, yes, go and stay somewhere. And this is the sister who fell in this, is telling me the story. Yeah, so she said, Allah forgive me, I knew that something is happening and I knew, I knew that the shaitan is leading me. She said this, she said, okay, uh, there are some hotels, let us take you to one of those hotels. And instead of she, first of all, why did she meet him by herself? Yeah, sisters be careful, wake up. The, the Prophet Sallallahu said, if you are with a man, yeah, then you are not alone. The shaitan is the third person. And the shaitan is so keen to push you into haram. So she said, okay, uh, there is a hotel there. Okay, let us go to the hotel. That is the hotel. Yeah, 
let us see the room. Look at this. Let us go and see the room. She should have said, خلاص, this is the hotel and she should have left him. She should have done this from the beginning. She should not have met him. She should not have communicated with him like this. Okay? But the shaytan is telling her, what? As she said, the shaytan was telling her, okay, sister, this is because you are going to get married. He's going to propose to you. Let him come. Let Take him to your family. There is a big maslaha here. You are going to marry him and so on. She said, I took him to the room and she said, may Allah forgive me. I knew that the shaytan is leading me. Then we went to the room and slowly, slowly, I found that I have done the haram with him. He regretted, he cried, he was married. He was married. And then they left. All of this started because of what? Communication for what? For da'wah. That's why we have to be very, very careful. Seriously careful. Jazakumallahu khairan.